Volcanic explosions unlocked. Stratovolcanoes erupt when mineral-rich gases seal the pores and the cracks of the upper layers of the rocks. This is by Technical University of Munich. It's on Science Daily. The summary says that when the next eruption takes place, examinations of samples from Indonesia's Mount Merapi volcano shows that the explosivity of stratovolcanoes rises when mineral-rich gases seal the pores and microcracks in the uppermost layers of the stone. The findings resulted in new possibilities for the prediction of an earthquake. So when will the next eruption take place? Examining of samples from Indonesia's Mount Merapi shows the explosivity of the stratovolcanoes with the pores sealed from these gases. Mount Merapi on Java is among the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Geoscientists usually use seismic measurements illustrating underground movements when warning the population of a coming eruption in time. An international team, including scientists from Technical University of Munich, TUM, has now found another indication for potential eruption in the lava from the peak of Mount Merapi, the uppermost layer of stone, the plug dome, quote unquote, becomes permeable, impermeable for underground gases before the volcano erupts. So that's astonishing. Of course, if you've got something plugged and sealed, the gas can't come out. So it explodes. They said our investigation shows that the physical properties of the plug dome change over time. This is what Professor Albert Gilg from TUM describes. He says, following an eruption, the lava is still easily permeable, but this permeability then sinks over time. Gases are trapped, pressure rises, and finally the plug dome bursts into a violent explosion, he says. Mount Merapi is a model for the volcano. Using six lava samples, one from an eruption of Mount Merapi in 2006, the others are from 1902 eruption, and the researchers were able to ascertain changes in the stone. Investigation of pore volumes, densities, mineral composition, and structure revealed that permeability dropped by four orders of magnitude as the stone alteration increased. The cause is now newly formed minerals, in particular potassium and sodium aluminum sulfates, which seal the fine cracks and pores in the lava. And the cycle of destruction? They used computer simulations to confirm that the reduced permeability of the plug dome was actually responsible for the next eruption that occurred. The models show that a stratovolcano like Mount Merapi undergoes three phases. The first phase, after an eruption when the lava is still permeable, outgassing is possible. In the second phase, the plug dome becomes impermeable for gases, while at the same time the internal pressure continuously increases, and in the third phase, the pressure bursts the plug dome. Photographs of Mount Arapi from the period before and during the eruption of May 11, 2018, support the three-phase model. The volcano first emitted smoke, then seemed to be quiet, for a long time, until the gas found an escape and shot a fountain of ashes kilometers into the sky. That, that's what happened. It found the weak point, and that's what exploded. Gil says that the research results can now be used to more reliably predict eruptions. A measurable reduction in outgassing is thus an indication of an imminent eruption, he said. Mount Merapi is not the only volcano where outgassing measurements can help in the timely prediction of an upcoming eruption. Stratovolcanoes are frequently a source of destruction throughout the Pacific. The most famous eruption examples are Mount Pinatumbo in the Philippines, Mount St. Helens in western USA, and Mount Fuji in Japan. This is provided by Technical University of Munich and it's on Science Daily. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight 
on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.